Oh, it's e Drake here again, and we're going to go through another mod. So, I'm on the main screen, so all I'm going to do is start a new campaign, and then while it's loading, I can take you through what this mod's about. So, we're going to go to Tyrion, of the High Elves, with your friend as his home place, and go to start. So, what does this mod do? It's called World War, it's by Alex, and the version I'm loading up now is the awful version. There's three different versions. There's the awful version, a sort of a complete World War version, and a sub mod, which supports both those mods. So, we'll go for the awful version first. Um, what this does, it confederates all the high elf factions, bar Nagarif, into one big empire. And so, I will now be confederated with all the other high elves, I'll pretty much rule the island of Orphan apart from a few Dark Elf settlements to the north. And along with this, the AI will have all access to all the Dwarfs, so the Dwarfs will confederate, or the Greenskins, Greenskins will confederate, Bretonia, Vampire Counts, etc, etc. But there are a few caveats, which I'll go through in a minute, but, uh, but just sort of a quick word of warning. My computer's quite quick, and as you can see, it's stuck on the loading screen. Now, it is actually working, so don't quit it, don't panic. It is working, it's just running all these mods. Oh, well, there's one mod, and there's a lot of scripting that goes into this. So it has to go through all the entire list, and then we should be getting there any time, any second. So while it's still going, um, oh, there we go, perfect. Just in time. Yeah, you can shut up. So, here we are. There's Tyrion, sitting, sitting there quite happy. And only got a few messages out. This is going to take a couple of seconds. So what we'll do, I'll quit that tick, because I know how to play them. And then all hell breaks use. All these world events appear. So I'll take you through that, what's going on in that in a minute. I'll quick press tab to zoom out a bit. And as you can see, under one banner, I pretty much rule the Isles. Apart from Nagarai from the north, those default settlements. Come over there, come over there. As you see, I don't uh, um, Alphana, I don't own Nagwife. It's Nagwife, isn't it? I'm not making it up. Are you Nagwife? I think you're Nagwife. Nagwife, I thought it was. Right. So, I own all this. And I also own where Tiri, uh, not Tiri, and Tekra starts down at the bottom here. There he is. I own that as well. I don't believe there's any more settlements around. Yes, I think that's it. So we all know all those settlements. So let's back go jump back to uh, Mr. Tyrion. There he is. And I'll just go to all these messages. Always oh, is saying that Dark Elves are all confederated. I've confederated. These have been confederated. Skaven, yada yada yada. So let's skip all this because they are. Petonia, Empire Count, yeah. yeah, yeah. Got a uh, And then, oh, of course, these provinces are secured. So, put him out of the way. Now, I've got so much ma uh, resource management, it's just ridiculous. Now, as you can see, my upkeep is troused because of this. Minus 6,082. 6, this is obviously due to all my armies. So, because I've got a area, that's two grand its own. 1,600x, just all over shop. So, what you have to do is sort out all your armies, and then you can pretty much do what you want. And this just makes the game completely different, I find. It's just a... It's, a, it's obviously a complicated mod, but it's such a simple idea. It allows you to... Because, yeah, as we know, first 50 turns, possibly more, is just basically getting yourself started in the high that army. So, if, like, if I was tearing, I would just start off with these. So I'd have to go over, oh, yeah, to capture this, maybe. Do some trading, do some negotiation, see if I can get a confederation, get these dark, dark elf scum from the aisle, and then proceed. 100 turns, possibly. Could take longer, shorter, doesn't matter. But this, I'm um, straight away, I'm in the driving seat, I can now force the dark elves off and then go and destroy them, go and sail to the Empire to the right, who also won one banner, go and see the Petonia, under one banner, vamp there, you can see that's usually Mission. But the Vampire Coast, not the Vampire Coast, the Vampire Counts owns them all. Now, 
because I said this is the awful version of this mod, of this mod, I'll just take you through some of the differences between this and the World War version, which is the full version, which is a complete sandbox. Which basically means it doesn't give a matter about the banners. Like I, w if I had show did this with a different mod, which I'll show you after, the high elves would be yinked straight with Nagrand up here, and we'll have that as a, as a settlement as well. So, without further ado, let's go through some of these changes. Our Tomb Kings, um, Archim the Black, only confederates the wealth Black after Misty. Well, actually, just before I do that, I just want to show you one more thing, and then I'll discuss that. In Diplomacy, it automatically puts you at, at war with your most feared enemies, so Nagarand, and that's it for the uh, High Elves. And these have been automatically at war, I think, with the Skaven. Don't quote me on that. And Dark Elves were pretty much at war with everybody. Um, just so you realise that, yeah, it, it also does. It also puts you into a war with who you should be at. The dwarves are at war with uh, high. Are they in high elves? No, I think they're okay with that one. Right. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So the Tomb Kings, Archive the Black, can only confederate with the Wakap Dynasty and declares war on Petonia and Empire at turn one. So if I skip on, while well, this um, while I'm going through this. Yeah, let's go over this messages. You gotta get the Yala messages at the start. A quick end turn, and that will sort all that out, and you can get some of the more messages. So, Arkan declares war on Petonia and Empire, turn one. I was spin you one, well, that's gonna take a while. Oh, you're kidding me. Right, fine, whatever. Let's just skip all that. As you can see, the AI goes. Completely with what you expect, and it starts killing everybody because that's what they do. As you can see, the World War mod is tough, it's a tough ask for some factions more than others. So, other two key changes the Arcane will be covered with Black Activity, and another team of Keynes will not uh, confederate with them, and it increases the chance to be set to, to be yeeded by 100% to create work on Archon. Declares war war on the vampire counts, declares war on Petonia, and declares war on the Empire. So, you know, two kings are out in force in that one. The dwarfs, no one confederate with Zat Karakzon Karakzon and Quackadrak, and the spine of Do Sotek dwarfs. Uh, what's this? Yeah, I know he's been wounded. Right, so there we go. So that the turn time is a little bit quicker than it is usually. Because there's yet smaller factions hanging about, so it goes through quite quick. Which is another nice little bonus. Anyway, back to the Greenskins. Greenskins declare war on Grim, uh, declare war on dwarfs, and increase the chance of Grim going to be eaten by 100%. So this is where the AI I've got all have all control, obviously. You can, when you control, you can do anything, anything you like. Wood Elves have a 100%, 100 chance to, for our Orion to be eaten. Bretonia. Uh, it's got Yuan, Yuan, Yuan Kerr, 100% chance. Norska, it's got Wolfric, 100% chance, and declares war on the Empire for Dark Elves and Petonia. When we come down to the Vampire Counts, they are no longer confederated with Nakaran Brotherhood, but declare war on Empire and Petonia. Increase the chance for Manfred to be aided by 100%. Dark Elves, declares war on High Elves, so yes, I was right on that, and declares war, war on the Yzerman on turn 1. Increase the chance to be Malakef to be aided by 100%. So, and the High Elves, all that does is increase the chance to be Tyrion to be eaten by 100%. And the Skaven will be at war with Dwarves and the, and the Empire, and increase the chance for Skrulk to be eaten by 100%. So that is a nutshell, it was what the World War Yorful version does. Now if you, if I leave it at that point, and we'll start off a new campaign, and I can show you how, how, what the difference is when I go High Elves with the other mod, which is the normal World War mod. Okay. And and I've just yielded up the High Elves World War All Factions Confederate mod. So it's is different to the one I just showed you, only slightly. But it does allow me to confederate the guy from here, so I've got Alpha and R under my control. So that's the main two differences between those two mods. This is this version is a complete sandbox. You get there'll be nothing awful about it, all the green skins will confederate under one banner. 
or the vampire count of the Bombala Empire, etc. etc. Yeah, I'm sure you get the picture. It just makes for a really unique campaign, and I've, and I've had a couple of playthroughs, and even better, it works completely with um, most, well, as far as we know, most uh, other mods. So it works fine with SFO Grimhammer, so that's what I've tried it with. I've tried it up to about 20 turns with the Boys Will Be Boys mod. And as far as Arex knows, who's the, who created it, um, it works with virtual all mods. So that's an added bonus. So you could pray through with your favourite campaign. With your favourite mod activated, pop this, up, pop this out top, and away you go. Right, as I said, there's, there's this mod, or Factions Confederate, there's the Yawful version, and there's a the sub mod. Now, the sub mod changes how how the armies work it removes some of the penalties for armies so at the moment you can see I've got an 8,000 deficit already at the start of my campaign so what we'll do we'll load up another campaign same high hours but our and the same version which is this version the all factions confederate and we'll see the difference when I've had it activated the other mod okay we now have the high house open again we have world war for Confederation version, and now we have the World War Balance Super Mod activated. Um, at the moment, this is just what date is it today? It's the 11th of the 4th, and this is about a week away from the new DLC, uh, the Yisbun DLC. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Uh, it's the one that brings a. It's one for Skaven, and it's the Yisbun pack and the Skaven pack, York pack. Um, that's going to drop in about a week, like I said. And at the moment, to get this to work, the sub mod needs to be before the main mod in your Kydrin's mod manager, or it will not work. So just be aware of that. Um, Arix, the author, has on. Uh, I'm looking at his Steam comments right now under the balance sub mod, and as he asked Metrosis, he's found a fix, and he's going to do that with the, in, uh, the inclusion of a DLC. So that's all good. So as you can. If you remember back in my just the, about five minutes ago, we had the other version up. My upkeep was minus eight hundred eight thousand, I think it was. Now I'm in the positive by eight hundred ninety-three. So, quite a big change. So, what does the supplement do? Well, obviously, I have the same amount of armies as I did before, but I have not the penalty for them. The enemy, the AI, still has that problem. But to help the flow of the game, you cancel that. And it's up to you whether you want to pray with that type of method, or do you want to just go on as normal? And because obviously the other campaign is much harder, because you got to sort out you can you got to probably kill a few. No, to set um, what are they called? Disband a few general, uh, a few generals be before you can continue with the campaign because we upkeep. So a few more changes, and I'll just take quickly take you through them. But it's all listed in the mod itself. So, reduce the upkeep penalties, just said that. Change the public order penalties for all difficulties to be plus 10 bonus for the prayer to prevent farming rebe rebellions. Remove the upkeep penalty for additional armies. Um, set the background income to 8,000. So that's why I've got so much cash at the moment. So my background income is base 8,000 to compensate for these units. Um, all rewards receive plus 2 skill points total 3 for the first 5 levels and plus 1 yet for level 6 to 10 just to help you get your characters and your heroes or your rewards to a better level ready for the campaign uh, it also increases the army capacity by 4 for the Tomb Kings so you can quickly expand your armies quicker because of the way the Tomb Kings uh, recruitment works and the last rate remove the greater power penalty to increase diversity over multiple campaigns and that speaks for itself, really. Um, yeah, and that is the World War mod. I recommend you check this out because it really does change the game completely. Um, and it allows you to concentrate on going straight out the Dark Elves. It allows you to string your own campaigns and go as the Dark Elves. Try to manage that massive amount of the they have, which is quite ridiculous. And the that Man army have only a small fraction. The Empire is obviously huge. The Wood Elves are a bit obviously only got those four. Um, and one in the southeast corner, if memory serves, of the map. 
etc etc so there we go i hope you found this interesting and i hope you have a go at it because i think you'd be surprised how much fun it is thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video